Careful planning, continuous collaboration, and meticulous measurements all go into making sure that Southwest Idaho has water in the warmer, drier months. The best day on my job is to make sure that people don't even know I exist. You know, if we could perfectly control and forecast the river, then nobody even knows that we're doing our job. John Roberts is the water management lead for the Snake River Basin for the Army Corps of Engineers. The Corps is one of several federal and state agencies that work together to manage the snowmelt that flows into our reservoirs and then through our rivers. The agencies hand off official decision making at different times of the year. But all year long, the Corps, Bureau of Reclamation, and the Boise Watermaster with the Idaho Department of Water Resources work very closely together to keep water flowing. I definitely think it's unique and it is a complicated system. And it's good that it is complicated because that allows different agencies to collaborate to kind of get as much efficiency out of the system as possible. Roberts says there are two primary goals of managing the system. One, to reduce flood risk and two, to provide water to the valleys. Water managers also have to consider supporting environmental needs, recreation, and creating hydroelectric power. We have dedicated people looking at the complexity of it year round. When making decisions about increasing releases in the late winter and spring months, officials have to weigh a lot of factors. Essentially, water managers are walking a tightrope. If they release water too soon, water may get close to being depleted in the warm and dry months. Our team really just focuses on trying to ensure that we're minimizing the damages and impacts there, as well as not jeopardizing the water supply and irrigation delivery later in the summer when people need it. If they release water too late and we continue to get moisture, parts of the Boise River can reach flood stage. Holding the water for as long as possible is part of a strategy to make sure water is there late in the season. The water that we're going to release here in April and May hasn't even arrived yet, which is why we don't want to release water because we don't know if it's going to come yet. But as soon as we get an indication on that, that's when we start trying to meter out the volume and the high peak so it doesn't impact the town. Last year, if we had no reservoirs in place, the natural flow that would have come through town would have been about 17,000 in the late part of May and then right under 20,000 in the first part of May. Roberts adds the flood stage in Boise is 7,000 cubic feet per second, or CFS. Catastrophic damage can happen at 10,000 CFS. So without the reservoir system, we would have seen double the amount of water that it would take to cause catastrophic damage. The flip side of that is that when we have a dry season, water levels can get depleted, which can lead to irrigation seasons getting cut short. That happened in 2021 and had a big impact on crops and farmers. There's a lot of experts that we leverage and utilize their expertise to help get to the right answer. There's just a lot of people that are looking out for the best interest. So in an area that's technically a desert, we have water managers working to make sure that our water and our everyday lives keep on flowing right along. This year, water releases for flood mitigation are expected to happen sometime between late March and early April. Reservoir levels are higher than average for this time of year. So Robert says they expect to have a full irrigation season this year.